guys, it's Petunia Gal, and we are back over in Planet Zoo on our Heartland Zoo. And I know it's been a couple of days that I haven't had this uh, out, but hopefully you guys will um, uh, forgive me for that. I did go, I took this out. Okay, so the game kind of freaked out. I did some off camera and it didn't save everything. So one of the cool things that has happened since I last recorded is Planet Zoo went ahead and um, put out, I think on Monday, that um, there was going to be a free update coming. And then the next day they came out with the DLC that is coming. And it is finally going to be an aquatic pack. And it's super cool. I can't wait. So um, what I wanted to do is get the... Um, the, uh, monkeys, the capuchin monkeys set up, but I also wanted to just kind of go over what that's going to have in it because I'm hoping to, um, kind of set some of this up to be able to use some of that stuff that's coming in the update. So this is going to be the capuchin monkey habitat and we're going to do just a um, null barrier around it. I don't know if this is going to be enough water to keep them in, but I guess we'll find out. And then the other problem is we're going to have to make it where um, they can't get, where the zookeeper can come in, but they the animals can't leave. And I'm wondering if we can do a little bit of a door here. I don't I don't think that's going to work because I think we have to have the ground coming up to the path, which I don't know, but we'll see. So let's see what we can do here. And what I want to do is this path is going to be, or this is going to be the main viewpoint, but they're for the free update, they're coming out with where we can actually set up animal talks and we can have a, um, keeper uh not keeper a staff member that is solely for the animal talks that will give you know talks that you can schedule them i'm not sure about the schedule you can do um i heard it's like yearly but that seems weird so uh, we'll see how that goes but the animal talks is one of the main things and then they also added underwater feeders which uh to me was kind of a uh you know, kind of giving away what the DLC was going to be, <laughs> but you know, it's fine. But I was super excited to find that out. I'm going to try hopefully to be able to stream, um, on Tuesday when the update comes out, but I don't know. We'll see. So what I'd like to do here, um, let's go ahead and just have this go around. I'll have it go around the outside of the water just in case. I don't, um, like I said, I don't know if this is going to be enough water for to keep them in, but we'll have to just make it and then put them in, see if that's going to work. Uh, but my main issue, like I said, is going to be where to put the keeper entrance. Um, that is not what I want to do. Uh, because, yeah, we're definitely going to have to have that. For the keeper and still and not be able to let the monkeys out <laughs> but we'll, we'll see how that goes so i'm gonna just put it going like this i don't know if it'll go hopefully it'll go under here all right we'll do that and that okay so we've got the exterior there now where do we want i think we'll put a door here um, which, well, no, I don't want to do it there. We'll do it over here, I think. See, it says it can go in, but not out. That's just weird. What if we have it like this? No. Okay. Put it right there. <laughs> sure, why not? All right, so that way we'll go steel mesh and we'll go, <laughs> I want steel mesh. Oh my goodness. Um, no, stop it. Oh, 
All right, we'll go ahead and move this. I just want it to be a little bit of a fence here. The rest, I just want to be the null barrier. Um, like I said, I don't think the monkeys can swim, so I think this will be fine. But we'll go ahead go around. Um, I was going to initially put the giant anteaters in here as well, but I don't know if it's going to be enough space. And then from there, we'll just have to have something for the staff to get in. Let's go ahead and do this first. Whoa. Not that big. And we'll have this go out uh, like that. And we were going to make another staff area of here weren't we forgot about that but there we go let's go ahead and get to this uh, that's not what i wanted to do but that's okay let's go ahead and move these guys over to the new habitat Um, let's let them get in here. And obviously we have to have a climbing frame for them to get over to the island. Because right now it'll show zero room. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's do... Let's go ahead and put a temporary climbing thing for them to get to that. Just so we can check... Uh, it's gonna not be enough space, I know, but I wonder if they can just climb on these branches. That would be kind of cool. Let's see. Let's go ahead and make a bit of this. And what I'll probably do is start this and then work on it, like, off camera. Let me know what you guys think about that. Do you guys want to see, like, this whole, um, thing, or are you okay with just seeing bits and pieces? Let me know. Um, I think what I'll do is move this around and we'll bring it. I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll see. Bring it like that. So what we'll do is hit H and go to habitat. Oh, this is escapable. Okay, I was thinking maybe they couldn't escape there. Um, what we probably need to do... Well, we need to move this in. For one. Come here. We need to move this in. Alright. And I think the reason, yeah, we don't have climb proof. Um, that's right. I think. Looks like it. And then, nope, left. Okay. So now let's look at, I'm just going to hit I a couple of times. And let's see. Did that update? Okay. Oh, geez. Uh, I did not realize. <laughs> did not realize that wasn't there. Okay. So let's go ahead and hit H. But they can climb this, which is good. That's nice. So let's do Q to come down a little bit. So all we need to do for that is go ahead and hit I. And we will do X. And we'll just take that at more of a slope here. And go down. Let's see if that's gonna work. Uh let's go ahead. <laughs> we need to we need to get the terrain fixed because this is not cool. Let's go to H and P. There we go. Awesome. They want. Okay. They want. Oh, it's all actually good. Well, I'm going to do short grass. 
here because I don't like the way that looks. Uh, so let's do short grass. I mean, it does grow in the, in the water, so we'll keep it there. But let's do. Um, I guess soil would make more sense over here since this is going to be trampled quite a bit. And uh, let's see. We'll definitely do something over here because all oh, that's a little weird looking. They don't like rock. Okay, so short grass is pretty much it. Uh, let's bring the size up, intensity up. So we'll bring short grass here. And uh, I, I kind of wanted to use some rock, but maybe we'll just have to use soil. Because on the inclines here, Seems like it would have to be more like rock or soil than grass, but I don't know. Could be wrong. Sorry, I keep right clicking. Just making everything move. So, there we go. Awesome. Looks pretty good, I think. Um, I think we'll probably go with Oh, come on. Go with some, uh, nope. Some soil around the edges here. Well, that's a little bit of, uh, it's kind of like, it almost looks like cracked sand. Doesn't it? That's what it looks like. To me, anyways. I don't like this long grass. It looks so bad. I mean, it, it doesn't look bad. I mean, long grass is good for some things, but I think it just looks looks weird. But that's okay. So there we go. Uh, I know they'll be able to just probably jump onto the um, thing here. Let's see. Uh, let's do that. Let's do H. Um, maybe they can't get up there. It doesn't show that they can. Which is kind of good. So. Oh, yeah, we do have plenty. Okay, cool. Um, and then, uh, t uh climbing frames. Alright, they like North America, South. Okay, let's do that. Let's go to nature. Well, actually, before we get into that, I always get ahead of myself here. Let's go to filters, species, and we'll go to Capuchin Monkey. Why isn't it just called Capuchin Monkey for other things? I don't know. Uh, let's do H. Okay. So, I want to probably just use some of these already made things uh, for now, and then... I may do like a live stream to try to get things more exciting looking. Nope, not Z. Uh, let's do shift and bring it down into the ground. I want to give them a lot of climbing opportunities here. Um, and then let's uh, bring it down. <laughs> Can't see what I'm doing. All right. So, up here we could put something. I think maybe one of these. Put one. Well, no, no, no. We can't do that, can we? Because uh, the keeper won't be able to get up here to fill that. So, is there just like a toy we can put up here? Uh, let's put one of these up there. Why not? All right, let's go ahead and exit out of that. And then we'll also put, we'll put one of these pretty close to this viewing area. I think that's a good idea. Put a sprinkler. And let's 
see. Um, I was thinking if we just did like a climbing area here. I don't know if they can get up to the top here, though. We'll see. It's going to be a ton of, like, climbing. <laughs> They're going to love it, right? Not connecting these. Like that. I think that's cool looking. Alright, so... Fun. You're good there, you're good there. And then, obviously, I want plants. Um... And we're good. Oh, we need food enrichment. Let's see what we can do with that. Uh, let's go to food. Oh, definitely need a need a uh, foraging box. Um, I think what we'll do is why can I? Where did it go? Oh no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> don't know how that happened. Um. I was thinking about putting it like under the climbing frames to make it kind of look like kind of look like a, a base. You know how like on playgrounds they have the little gravel area? I kind of want to make it look like that. And I know a lot of people try to like bury these into the ground. But I think, oh, I forgot it does that with the ground. Ugh. Okay. That's fine. We're good. We are so good. All right. So, uh, there's people coming. That's cool. Um, let's see. I know I should have paused it earlier so it wasn't nighttime. But it's okay. Uh, let's also give them a suspended forager. And unfortunately, we kind of have to leave these on the ground just so the keepers are able to get to it. But let's go to nature and let's see. Uh, let's do that. Let's do that. And they like uh, tropical and grassland, temperate and grassland. I should really know these by now. Wait, that's tropical. That's not grassland. <laughs> see, I knew it was tropical. I knew it. All right, and then they want North America and South Central. Okay. So let's give them some trees. And we can also, we can always change things up later if we want to. But I want to give them a little bit of shrubbery. I was wondering if this would be at all considered a shelter, but I don't think it would. Well, they have 60% hard shelter. Which is kind of cool. Um, I don't know. I was thinking... Because when they have... Um, the When we put the animal talk place in, I was kind of thinking maybe making that over here. And um, making some kind of an area so the monkeys will come and... Um, actually interact with them while they're giving the talks. I think that would be cool. Um, but yeah, I like that. I do. Um, we'll probably put some more like smaller bushes in places. Maybe even around the, the like elevations and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and hit V though and turn off that align to surface. Because I don't like that most of the time. But I think that's cool. But we've got the essentials. I don't know, though, if the keeper can make it up here. Um, I don't have... Because there's not any food in here, right? Yeah. So we're going to have to do something over here for the keepers to be able to get up and down which is why I made this little area so you can have the keepers come in and have a little place to be able to keep the keep the monkeys in but let the keepers leave don't know exactly what I want to do with that though like I said I think last I think usually I use 
Just a climbable piece. Um, maybe something just like this. But I'm going to have to turn off. Let's turn off the line to surface. And we'll just make a little bit of a climbing thing here. And if I just do control X, is that going to... No. Uh, how about if I change... No, that doesn't work either. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead and try to align this up. I don't know if that's quite aligned. Sometimes I've seen it where this thing, where it actually works when you try to, like, move it where it's supposed to be, but I never can get it to look right. I don't know why. I don't know. We'll do that. There we go. So what I'll do from there is just hit I and pick both of these and X. We'll just fix it a little bit from there. So I don't know how how much of an incline this can be, but we'll see. I mean, there's also not food being just left here, so maybe they're getting up there already. I don't know, but let's go ahead and hit P. Uh, so actually, no, nope, let's not. We gotta deal with this. Um. But yeah, I am super excited about the free update. Hope you guys will come uh, hang out and see what that's all about. Like I said, Aquatic Pack is finally coming. It's super awesome. And um, yeah, we'll we'll get into something. Uh, they're going to have penguins and gray seals and um, I can't remember. Cayman? I don't remember what the name is uh, offhand, but they're going to have they're going to have some cool diving animals and it's going to be super awesome. Um, the one that they showed the, uh, feeder, the underground feeder for is the crocodiles. Um, just because that's the only thing you're going to be able to use in the base game with the free update, but man, it looks super awesome. So I hope you guys will come back next time. Um, I don't know if it'll be next time that we do aquatic animal or the time after that depends on when I can record. So, uh, yeah, uh, if you have enjoyed, definitely hit that thumbs up. Check out all the links below if you haven't already. Um, it is a perfect time to become a Petunia Pal if you would like to do that and get your name in the zoo as a, a staff member or animal of your choice. Let me know. Um, and you can also join in on the Discord and Game Fun on Thursdays when we do our live stream. And, uh... Yeah, I think that's it. So if you have any questions, comments, tips, anything like that, definitely leave those down below in the comment section. I love seeing those, and we'll get back with you as soon as I can. And until next time, I hope you have a super blessed day. Uh, I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving as well. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time. Bye, guys.